Hi everyone, welcome to the University Career Center Quick Tip. I am Addie Buckley Burnell. I'm the Associate Director of Career Development here in the University Career Center at Auburn University. And I have a very opportune quick tip for you today. Uh, unfortunately, we are all in a situation right now where we're not really sure how long this quarantine, um, social isolation, uh, social distancing is going to last. That is a little bit unsettling for most of us and particularly concerning for those of us who have internships or experiences lined up for the summer and we're not quite sure what's going on. So my quick tip today is going to be talking about how to deal with this situation and what to do if it gets canceled. Now, I hope no one has this situation where their internships are canceled. I know many employers are just delaying. Um, so making the start date be a few weeks later since the academic calendar hasn't changed over. Many employers are doing that. Um, so ideally that's gonna happen. However, we just don't know what's gonna work. So step one, now is the time to reach out to your contact in your organizations to find out what the plan is. Because if they haven't had an opportunity to figure that out yet, you need to put that on their radar. Right now, everyone is in kind of crisis mode where we're all trying to stay afloat. We're all trying to figure out what's going on and make things work seamlessly that they may not really be thinking about the summer quite yet when they're trying to really figure out what's going on day to day. So put it on their radar. If it is a situation where they say we may have to cancel, they might say we need to push it back. They might say many, many things. Be open to what they're saying. And I want you all to be thinking about what a plan B might be or a second best opportunity in this organization, all right? So a good thing to suggest is, is there something I can do with your organization virtually? Is there a way for me to move this internship into a virtual or an online capacity? You'd be amazed at how many of us have become able to do this in this context because we've been forced to. And so they may be more susceptible to accepting that option right now. So offer it, but come up with ideas. Don't just say, well, can we move it online? Say, can we move it online? And I can work on projects using my Adobe Suite uh, situation, or I could work on videos for your organization. Depending on your industry, think of something that would be helpful to them in an internship capacity that you could do remotely, all right? If they are saying, you know, that's something to really consider, be prepared to write up a formal proposal. What that means is outline the types of projects you could be working on or the way in which you could work so they can fill in the topics. Outline how you could be monitored for this work. So if it's a non-paid internship, you are going to need to prove that you are learning some things along the way. And so figure out what that might look like. It may be daily meetings. It may be using things like Teams to, in order to monitor when you're on, uh, when you're working. It might be a digital timesheet. Whatever that will look like, try to think about that beforehand and then how you might be evaluated for that work afterwards. You are going to need to write up a proposal of what that product would look like or what that end goal might be in order for them to fully conceptualize it and agree to it. But you should do the work on that because this is something you're needing sometimes more than what they're needing. All right. So think about how you can write that up. And if you need help, we are happy to help you with that. If they determine that this has to be canceled in general, thank them. Say, I fully understand in the future when things calm down could we reopen this discussion would you be willing to maybe push it off to the fall the spring the next summer that way you're not you know burning any bridges you might have another opportunity all right so always be looking for what that next step might be and a response to whatever they might say if they say yes yeah we'll look at it in the fall and spring great follow up with them closer to time all right when things have calmed down a bit if they say, no, we just need to cancel it, we can't do it right now, accept that, wish them luck in their process so that you can go back to them in the future if you need to, and then start thinking about what your next step might be. So whatever your industry is, be thinking of alternative ways of getting this type of experience. Now, it could be as easy as simply reaching out to another organization, seeing if they have any internships, the same process that we were just talking about, or it may be contacting somebody that you wouldn't normally think about to create an internship.
All right. So places like our office at the University Career Center, we have many different types of interns that work for us in different capacities. So we could have an intern working with the campus career closet that could get really relatable fashion merchandising, retail management, inventory system experience, or development experience with that. You know, they could be reaching out to people for donations, and that could be working for development type of work. We could be having communication interns that are either working on our social media messages or creating videos like this that they could be adding to their portfolio of knowledge and work. Or we could be having a graphic design student, which we do have a graphic design intern who works with us to create marketing pieces. Uh, so although a university career center may not be where you'd normally think about using these skills, if you know your skills would benefit an organization, you could reach out and see if they might be willing to build an internship. Be ready for them to say they can't pay, but if you can get some really good experience out of it, something to add to your portfolio, it might be worth it to them um, and worth it to you to go through that experience, especially if you can do it virtually, all right? So look outside the box a little bit. Look at ways that you could be building that portfolio for an organization. Worst case scenario, you can't find someone to do this with. Think about your organizations you're a part of. How could you be building those skill sets, building actual artifacts to demonstrate your abilities and that use of knowledge base? within your organizations. Be thinking about becoming the treasurer of your group if you are an accounting major. Think about running the event planning elements if you're in event management or hospitality management. These are things that you could be doing within your organizations to build those skills and have an actual marketing element. You could be doing some freelance work for the plainsmen. You could be doing freelance work for a lot of different areas. So think about those pieces that could fit into parts that you need to demonstrate, that you could be filling a void for someone else or another organization in the meantime. If you can't think of those, or if you want to add something in addition, as much as you could do to build additional skill sets is going to be in your favor. All right. So right now is a great time to start building those skill sets from home. You have access to so many technology platforms as a student at Auburn. So you have access to the entire Adobe suite. You have access to all of Microsoft. This is a great time to start building on those skill sets. Now we have some really, really great resources on campus with the MDRL, the Miller Learning Technology Resource, that actually has videoed tutorials on how to use all the Adobe Suite products and do work, they even do workshops all the time. You could be using lynda.com, you could be using linkedin.com, they have a new training platform on there. You can even be using things like Skillshare. Skillshare is one of my favorites, it's a subscription based, but you could be learning how to use these products from people who use them every day. And so if you could start building that, you could then go for an, a certification in things like Excel or just build it, have demonstrated use of your ability to use it, and that's adding an extra skill set that could make you marketable. Think about your field, figure out what the most helpful skills might be, but this is the time to do that. It might be building a foreign language skill, and that's, again, something that you could be using. Right now, people are offering lots of free tutorials and learning processes online, so take advantage of that. Uh, now, always, always take advantage of that, um, but also think about that if you cannot complete an internship or the experience you're planning. So hopefully one of these methods will work for you to build experiences build skills that might be lacking, and hopefully be able to transition your internships to a virtual setting, but if not, another way to supplement that time that would otherwise be spent doing fun things, <laughs> but not quite as useful for your career. Hope that was helpful for you. My name is Addie Buckley Brunel. Tune in for our next quick tip, and we're going to be talking about some lots of fun stuff. So go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube, and we're happy to get you covered on anything you need to know. Bye, guys.